All right, brother, in this video, I'm going to show you how I operate and how I have it all in my life in the category of body being balanced in business. Body being my health, being being my relationship with God and relationship with myself, balance being the relationship with my wife and my kids and friends to an extent, and business, obviously. So in this video, if you want to have it all in life, you want to be that guy, you want to be the top 1% of guys, even less than that, how to be a conscious man. Watch this whole video because if you miss any of these steps, well, you'll probably fall flat on your face because this isn't an easy endeavor, but if you can manage this, you're gonna be the upper echelon of any man in any group in any time. So, here we go. Now, people may say that I'm shallow for saying this, but your looks matter. Why do your looks matter? Well, first of all, they matter to you. And don't pretend like they don't matter because they do. Because the way you see yourself is the way you're gonna see the world and the way you're gonna think other people perceive you. And so when you're proud of the way you look and you're proud of the way you dress and that you're grooming and your health is on point, you're going to feel different. You're going to operate differently. You're going to be a different kind of person. When we see a guy go from being 300 pounds and he gets down to 150 or 200 and he's got a lot of lean muscle, that is a different man. He it operates differently. So don't tell me that looks don't matter to him. They matter massively. Why? Because Everything within this vehicle that God gave us matters. It is the temple, and we need to take care of that. When you take care of that, then you feel more powerful with certainty and power in operation in the world. So your looks matter. The way you dress, the way you eat, the way you operate at the gym, the way that you are in the bedroom, this all matters, and it matters more than you think. Second point is you gotta stop hiding. You gotta start telling the truth about yourself and where you are in your life. Tell the truth of what's going on within. Tell the truth of your pain. Tell the truth of what you've done. Tell the truth to yourself and your family, and your friends, your business, your clients, whatever, whoever you need to tell the truth to, you need to operate differently and stop hiding. You hiding and not expressing vulnerability from a place of power and strength is the thing that's diminishing you more than anything else. It matters more than your looks. It matters more than your health. In fact, your stress level and your ability to express yourself is what matters more than anything else. When you hide, you're pretending that you are not hiding and you are pretending that things aren't as bad as they are. When you're hiding, in other words, you don't wanna face your own inner demons. You don't wanna face all the things that have hurt you in the past and you don't wanna face your traumas. They all catch up to you and they come out in weird ways. Like you end up becoming creepy to women or you're afraid to go to the gym because you don't want somebody looking at you or you're afraid to ask for that raise because you don't think like you matter or you're afraid to ask your wife for intimacy in the bedroom because she's just going to turn away yet again and tell you that she has a headache and that you can't express that that actually hurts you and that you want to have a deeper and meaningful relationship with her. And then when she doesn't want that, you're unwilling to collide with her. You're unwilling to have that argument. You're unwilling to express yourself. And because you're unwilling to feel and, and you keep hiding within yourself, you can't even feel your wife. And so you want to be a guy who has it all in his life, you have to stop hiding. Stop hiding from yourself. Stop hiding from your pain and your traumas. You have to go within and root that shit out. The faster you do that, the more this five, six inches between your ears starts to change and then everything in your life starts to cascade after that. And because you keep hiding, you have no certainty and security within yourself. My mentor, Garrett White, would always say the most powerful guy in the room is the guy with no secrets. You having and expressing radical vulnerability and being okay with the opinions or ad, what, admonishing of from other people, you just being okay with that gives you power. Like if I don't have nothing to hide, then what are you gonna hold against me? I've already made peace with it. You can't take anything away from me. And so being secure in yourself means having certainty and going where you're at and being willing to be vulnerable and tell the truth of who you are. And from this place, you can then make changes, and then when you elicit these changes in your life and that transformation happens, it comes back to you, and then you can operate in a way that has less tolerance for the bullshit because you're standing in more power. You're standing in more certainty of who you are. You trust yourself more. You know you can do more things, and then that means you go do more things, and then it reflects back to you again, and this cycle keeps going, this game of infinite expansion of your soul. But again, it requires you to tell the truth. It tells you, requires you to be open and vulnerable. And so when you're operating from this place of certainty and power, your entire life elevates. Everybody around you elevates. All ships rise with the tide. Imagine how your wife's going to operate with you or have with you with intimate connection. And imagine how your children are going to see you. You be the example. You could lead from strong masculine core from this position of power. It's not a position of like 
overarching power where you're dominating. It's power because you can live powerfully. So if you want to have it all in your life, you have to start living from this place of certainty by following your own habits and desires. The things that you set out to do, you actually go do them. And you don't get caught up in hiccups with all the other things that come around you. You step through the fear. You see the fear, but you step through it anyway. And because you're doing this, your body language is going to change and everybody's going to see it all the way around you. So even though you are operating differently within and you feel different, you'll start to act different. And so having it all, you will, people will already start saying, this guy's got some shit going on. Because you've gone inside and you've done the work. And because you've gone inside and done the work, you're now validating yourself. Your areas of body, being, balance, and business start going up. You get more secure in your body. You start being healthier. Your connection with your wife becomes more. Connection with your children, your connection to God now starts to become something you like, well, I didn't even have a connection with God. Why is this popping up? Yeah, because you're getting power. You're not living in this place of scarcity, begging God for some sort of relief. You're now having gratitude. And then in your business, you can operate in a more powerful place because you're not scared of what's going to happen. Or maybe you have more certainty and power within yourself. You can start that business you didn't think you could do. And so you want to have it all in your life. It requires you to always look within, to tell the truth of where you're at and get clear on where you want to go. And then we bridge that gap with all the, all the habits and methodologies that you need to make that happen, which we talk about in the programs. But the whole point of this is, is that if you want to have it all in your life, you have to be willing to first tell the truth. And by doing this, you will validate yourself. You'll be able to move forward with radical vulnerability because you'll be okay with the, other, the opinions of other people. So if you want to see eight habits that we have identified that usually sacrifice a guy's have-it-all lifestyle, go here and we'll talk about that in the next video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And of course, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.